Creative Design Challenge. Uh, for this challenge, teams are going to have to climb up and down the rope in order to clean and maintain the wind blades. The Arduino part portion of this challenge is going to be rotating the wind turbine blades and blinking this red LED, which will represent an aircraft warning light. Um, to rotate the blades, the teams are going to have a push button at the top of the rope support and a push button at the base of the wind turbine. Um, these will be wired into the Arduino, which will then control the stepper motor that's mounted on the back, which will rotate the blades. Um, at the beginning of every match, the judges will have their own stepper motor, which they will plug in, and then they will use this to randomly determine which blade is going to be located straight down, um, like so. Now what the, step, what the Arduino is doing is it's generating a random number, and based on that number, it's determining how many times it's going to rotate this, these blades around, which will randomize which blade is pointing straight down. All right, so once judges have removed their Arduino and the field is fully set up, teams will then be able to install their own Arduino. Um, the teams are gonna have three wires that they can plug into Arduino. These two uh, go to the two switches and are labeled. And this third one is the LED and the, with the positive wire labeled. Um, and as you can see, we have our Arduino program so that it flashes this LED c constantly um, as long as it's plugged in. Um, this year we've created a device that can successfully climb up and down the rope and can successfully um, maintain and clean the wind blades. However, we don't want to show teams our device to keep the creativity in this challenge, so we're going to represent our device with this cardboard box. Teams can put their device on the rope before the trial starts, uh, but they must be below this 18-inch mark. Okay. For teams to climb up the rope, they must start below the 18-inch mark, and then their entire device must climb above the mark. To replace the battery, teams can pick up the new 9-volt battery from the stand, put it on their device, climb up the rope, remove the old battery in the slot, and then place the new battery in the same slot. Then they can climb down the rope, and to recycle it, they can place it anywhere on the stand. To clean the blades, teams can climb up and remove the paper clips off of the blades and then come down and place them in the waste bin. Teams can then press one of the two buttons to rotate the blades and then they can climb up, remove one of the paper clips, put it in the waste bin, and then they can take the patch to repair the damage on the blade. At the end of each trial, teams must be below the 18-inch mark. 